You almost made me spit out my coffee, dude. That was funny. What's up, guys? Welcome to Hocha Town. What's up, guys? Welcome to Hocha Town. Oh! Get it. Ah. Get it. What does that say? It says hi. What does the other one say? Whoa. Low. There you go. Good job, man. Low, high, low, high. I'm so proud of this guy learning how to read. He bought everyone this cool craft yesterday to do while I'm out here working. Um, mogul stickle your own course trophies. Nice. Daddy, why do we have to color them false? Look, it's ending up bad while I'm coloring them. These sprinkles are way too swivelly. Well, that looks great, man. It's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look shimmery. Keep going, just don't get them on the tires. You gotta be careful, okay? Try to stay in the lines. <laughs> Today, the school drop off was fabulous this morning, and we got a little goodie bag. What are you gonna look at, Jules? Candy. That's right, Juliet missed her Valentine's Day party, and today her teacher handed me this bag full of things from Juliet's Valentine's party. Go ahead, Juliet, let's see what's in there. Oh my goodness. Let me get the down. Sure. <gasps> Oh my goodness. This is actually my friend Rachel's son, Dodson. It says, you are my main squeeze. Oh, Rachie Poo, that's so cute. What do you say to mommy? Poo. Look, it says, from Coleman. I grow in water. It is from your dinosaur. They were together. I'm so excited. You're so excited? Oh, this, 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 is for Juliet and Coleman? I think it just says Juliet on it, cutie pie. So for the record, Coleman is in Juliet's class. His big brother is in Abram's class. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and from what the teachers all tell me, Juliet has a little crush on Coleman. She apparently follows him around everywhere and wants to play with him and she talks about him all the time. She'll come home and tell me blah, blah, blah with Coleman and blah, blah, blah with Coleman. And Coleman says rawr and all this stuff. It's so funny and so cute. Is Coleman your buddy? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have two suckers at one time? Mm -hmm. Wow, say hashtag Valentine's. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful day to get started on some cabin electrical. Ugh, I got more wire. I think this is the fourth one I've gone through. 250 feet of that wire. So yeah, hopefully I have a helper coming today. Just so much little work out here that I don't have time for like, a lot of cleaning up to do. But almost funny because I put an ad on Craigslist looking for somebody. One response, which was like extremely comical to me, he said, hey, I just got into it with my boss and I need a job. I'm willing to work. Just let me know as soon as possible. Man, if you want a job, you don't start it off by letting them know that you got into it with your boss. Like, I don't want to get beat up, you know? I mean, I feel bad for the guy. I said, sorry about your situation, but... I have already found somebody. Okay guys, so I wanna share something with you that happened. Yeah. Those of you who have been following my blog or my Instagram for some time will know that we have been trying to find natural and good ways to support Symphony's focus at school. And this morning I had a meeting that I was really worried about. I was really nervous that it was gonna be very negative about the whole focus thing. And it actually went really, really well. I'm really thankful and just praising the Lord that it went so well because he really has shown us such goodness and love time and time again. And I I feel like just the sheer fact of focusing on that and having that deep rooted faith. You like a cookie? Hey, can you bring your little dinosaur over here? Okay, Jules, put your dinosaur down in here and we're gonna fill it up with water. So here he is. Oh no, leave him in there. He's gonna grow big. Okay, here you go. You sit right there. Let him take a nap and he, when we come back, he's gonna be big. <laughs> Hoping when I drill through this floor that I'm not going to hit a stud. So now I got to get under the floor, pull my line up through this. And of course, the rain's coming down. What did I tell you guys? 
Never fails. I'm out the broken bow, and the weather's great, and it gets worse every time I come out. It's just how it is. I've been working in crazy conditions out here. I'm gonna get under there without getting too wet. Underwear, right? <laughs> Underwear. Where's Abram when you need him? Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, I got a lot of crawling to do. So that helper that I found on Craigslist ended up showing up. He didn't want to work today. He was talking about bringing his camper to the area and staying here while he works. I said, well, I can't promise you like continuous work, but I can promise about a week's worth. And there's Abram. Abram, look under here. I'm under the house, bud. Here's the cable. I gotta run it to that hole. You guys see the box right there? Bring the wire over this. So there's that hole I punched out. I'm gonna stick the wire into that hole. Thanks, bud. Ow. Oh, yeah, watch your head. There's nails under here, too, okay? Okay. Crawl real low. I'm pretty much done. I gotta put this line in here. All right, so there's the line I just pulled right there. So this will be the power line to hook to this box and this box coming under here to the floor and is gonna power this one. Now we'll have power in the middle of the living room. Hello, princess, Shari, Symphony. Yeah, hi. Mama, you know what I said about um, was knocking and kind of opening the boy, the girl's bathroom? Yeah. Um, today he got called to the office. Uh oh. So you guys know we were playing the scenarios game with the kids the other night, and Symphony had a real life scenario happen. What if you were in the bathroom changing for ballet or volleyball or basketball or whatever and a boy was repeatedly and forcefully trying to knock open and open up the door to the locker room where you're all changing? What would you do? I, I think Symphony handled it really well. Her and a group of her friends went to the office, wrote their names down on a sticky pad, and told the office lady what happened. And then today, they all got called in to explain it to the principal. All right, guys. Now let's head on to the clubhouse and get our workout on. Abram and I just finished eating lunch. I actually ran out of wire again. I keep thinking it's the last one I'm going to need. I'm going to need one more. One more. That should do it. I got to do all the outside lights. Do you want to go to in the town bud and go to Lambert Lumber? Hey dude, wait. You know what that And then Walmart to do some shopping for food. And if, hey daddy, I know. I know too. You don't get a Hot Wheel today. Mm. Please. But I just cut you that Nerf gun, man. No, you don't need two tools in one day. Okay. Now let's get out of here. You can look at the Hot Wheels, but you can't buy one. I might let you look at the movies. <laughs> yeah. It's a good boy. Okay. Okay, which one do I need here? I need one of these. You got it? Can you handle that? Yeah. We also need a couple boxes. A box? Here's the one I already used to have that I washed. Alright, bud, I said no Hot Wheels. What movie are you getting? Show me. Little Rascals. Good choice, buddy. To the little girl who recognized us in Walmart, Hello, sorry we didn't get to say hi. She didn't want to say hi either, she was too shy, but I could tell she recognized us. She was trying to tell her mom, and her mom was making a scene, almost embarrassing her. But, um, hi, it was good seeing ya. Thanks for watching the videos. Let's check the dinosaur. My workout was good, it was really short though because somebody was sad. Let's look at your dinosaur. <gasps> Did it get big? I love it, it's rocking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, floating in the water. You like it? Do you want to hold it, Jules? Put your head in the bottle. Okay. And tomorrow it's gonna be big, big dinosaur. Yeah, when you wake up, it's gonna be big. Is that pocket or the pole? Yeah, you can go in. Thank you for asking. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, and oh, whoosh! Oh. Hmm. Uh oh, Jules, let Symphony hold one of the toys. Mm -hmm. Hold this one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright, buddy, let's get some PJs on. Where's your bag? Oh, why's it over there? Can you bring it over here, buddy? We got chili and I bought that pizza. I'm a little bit. Or we could go out somewhere. I'm not very 
really hungry. You're not? Well, what I'm, I'm I just... hungry for is some steak. Maybe we can go out and see a little steak. <laughs> Race. Waldo, you're the best son money can buy. Thanks, Dad. Thank Abram and I are going to watch Little Rascals together yeah. and eat some chili and crackers. Oh. You already dropped your spoon in there? Oh, they you don't, get it? Do you get it, Abram? They don't even like those in the ears. Yeah, they do. They race, remember? Yeah, they race the goats, but they just don't like them. They don't like cars? No, they don't like Hot the wheels? ladies. Oh, they don't like the ladies, is that what you said? No, they don't. Because ladies have cooties. What are cooties? <laughs> Do you like ladies? Boy, he likes this lady. Remember this? Well, we'll catch you guys tomorrow, don't forget. He loves you. And remember to watch Little Rascals. Nice. Just in case anyone's wondering how the Marie Kondo stuff is holding up, it's doing good. This one's a little messy because Symphony got a hat out of here this morning. For the most part, it stays really nice and organized. Yeah. And then here is Jules's room. Her jammies are nice and neat. All right, girls, it's jammy time. It's peanut butter jammy time. Peanut, peanut butter, butter, butter jammy. Right? Peanut butter jammies. Peanut butter jammies. You get pajamas. You get pajamas. We all get pajamas. Good night, little princess. This baby had a long, long day. What are you cuddling under there? No, you got Minnie Mouse. Are you good? Good time, so big, big. Not yet. It'll be big, big tomorrow. Good night, darling. Oh, good night, little puppy. Sleep tight. What'd you decide to read for tonight? I'm oh, just a joking joke. But you told us all that your just joke books are not that funny. Well, well, I still like reading them. Oh, I understand. I loved joke books when I was your age. Even if they're not that funny. Okay, what's the next book? Oh, the things you can do that are good for you. I'm the cat in the hat, and today it is the day. Jump in and buckle up. We must leave right away for the Feeling Great Center in Far Off Bardu. <sighs> Okay guys, feels like great in the kitchen again, and I am gonna do comment of the day with everyone. It goes to Carolyn Vischer. Favorite vlog so far, seeing you both together, having fun makes me smile. And I have to say, I kind of agree. This is one of my most favorriteest vlogs to look back on because rarely do Sam and I get away and film and share like an entire day that's just us. It's usually all centered around what's going on in the home and our busy lives. And this was just such a good reflection of the slow pace, the rest and relaxation, but then also like the really fun, nice out that we had together and I'm so glad that we do this and we can capture these memories in, in this way. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed that too. We got a lot of really sweet and loving comments from you guys and it means a lot. I'm so happy that you guys enjoy the things we enjoy and it just we just feel so supported when you guys comment that way so thank you. And as always don't forget he loves you and remember to love each other. you can't hold when you can't make it on your own i promise you and not alone we're in this together